Hello friends, as we have seen in our last video, a number r is called a rational number if it can be written in the form p by q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0. For example, 1 by 2 is a rational number where p is equal to 1 and q is equal to 2. We have also seen in our last video there are some non-terminating recurring decimals like 1.62, 62, and so on which can also be converted to a rational number form. But there are some numbers which are called irrational number if it cannot be written in the form p by q where p and q are integers and q not equal to 0. Remember the not numbers which cannot be represented as p by q where q is not equal to 0 are irrational numbers. For example, square root of 2 is an irrational number because it cannot be written as p by q. Its value is really long 1.4142135637 1 and so on. It is non-terminating and non-recurring. The value is changing. It is not repeating. Same way pi. Its value is 3.14159265358979322 so on it doesn't terminate and is non recurring hence it cannot be written as p by q so to summarize starting from natural numbers n which are 1 2 3 4 and so on then 0 and natural number together are called whole numbers the collection of negative numbers and whole number is called integers the collection of integers and fractions which can be represented as p by q where q is not equal to 0 is called rational numbers and irrational numbers and rational numbers together is called real numbers and between two numbers in a number line there exist millions of rational numbers as well as irrational numbers and all the numbers found on number line are called real numbers. We can say every real number is represented by a unique point on the number line or every point on the number line represents a unique real number. The collection of real number is denoted by R.